Sea turtle time. I'm super pumped at how this one turned out. I always get really excited when a pour is close to what I had envisioned. Okay, so I wanted to show you my process on this one, but if you want to check out how I mix my paints for consistencies, I'll link that video in the description. I'll also list out the colors I used in the description below. Okay, so I did a swipe for my base. And if you ever get a swipe that you're not in love with, like I wasn't in love with this one, just throw some more colors on there and swipe it again. Um, my first swipe this time around was pretty medium toned, so I only added the contrasting colors for my second attempt and it turned out a, a little bit better. So I let that swipe dry and then I come back and I make sure to clean it. I put silicone in my swipe, so it's really important to clean your canvas before applying more paint. Or varnish so I cut out a sea turtle shape on some contact paper to use as my stencil and then I Mod Podge it so I like to put Mod Podge around every seam because paint can leak underneath and this at least prevents a lot of the leakage this part is pretty tedious with this sea turtle in particular because there's so many little pieces I have I go over some parts three times if an area is having a hard time sticking. Also I learned from my other dolphin pour that I need to have the paint adhere to the dried paint below it, not to just the Mod Podge, because if I just Mod Podge it'll peel up like a sticker. So I take a little piece of sandpaper and very carefully sand the center of these little bits. Again, this is a pretty involved and detailed setup, but it's worth it in the end to put in the labor up front to make it better in the end. So I let the Mod Podge dry. Now time for the swiping. So I'm using metallic medium tone green and a light green and a bronze for the shell. Those are listed in the description. So this is a bit unusual. I'm using the bronze as my swipe color, but also putting it in the base to add color variety throughout my shell. And I'm trying to make sure not to dump a lot of paint on here. I call this a very controlled pour because I want the area covered, but I don't want a lot of paint running everywhere because I want the fins and head to be a different color and not all of it bleeding together. So here at the end of my swipe, it ran over some of the fins. I'm just going to carefully wipe this part off and make sure I find my fin line and then I stop so I don't wreck the, the cells that are part of the shell. All right, that looks good. Now for the fins. I want to pour my paint long ways with the head and the fins, going with the grain, so to speak. So my colors here are fluorescent blue, a bright turquoise in the same bronze color that I used for the shell. Then my swiping color will be Thylocyanine blue, that's different than thalo blue, I think. It's a Liquitex color. Anyways, I think it's very similar to thalo blue. It just seemed a little bit more electric to me. So I leave room at the top for my small strip of thylocyanine blue. You want to make a very thin strip because you don't want it to dominate everything and you don't want it to bleed back into that shell color. And also for these, I'm swiping the same direction that I poured my color strips. And if this whole part is too nerve wracking for you, you can definitely pour your shell first, let it completely dry, then cover it entirely with just some masking tape or something simple before you pour your head in your fins. So that's an extra way that you could do it. So now it's time for it to dry. And seriously, the hardest part is waiting. In order to get this video done, I only let it dry 36 hours, which means it was about 95% dry. And what that means is I had to use an X-Acto knife all along the seams because the paint wanted to stretch when I pulled the stencil since it wasn't fully dry. So I'm basically cutting the shapes out again. And there you have it with the stencil pulled off. Now I had another part of the process that showed me darkening the background to make the whole turtle stand out, but my old iPhone I record on sent a message that I was out of storage and I didn't realize it had stopped recording until I was done of course. But here it is anyways. I darkened the background with the color Payne's Gray and water so it was like a, a dark wash and I actually took some of the emerald green, Liquitex emerald green, and applied a thin wash between the shell shapes to help it stand out from the background even more. So there you have it. I'm pretty happy with my first sea turtle. If you're interested in this process, I have some dolphin tutorials that would be fun to check out and I'll link them in the description. Thanks.